Hey guys, in the video of today we're going to see how we can get this fairy cover off. So I already noticed uh, one thing with the feet, there's a rubber on it. And let's just see if we can remove it without too much damage. So there's one. So this is some kind of way I've seen before with some speakers. And this is just to make sure that the fabric is staying on the speaker. I will try my best to keep the feet together because it still sticks a little bit. So if I remove the fabric cover, I can still put them on. I do think that the design, it looks a little bit familiar to the JBL Go 3, especially from this angle. Then you could say like, oh, JBL. But no, it's definitely something else. And the discussion about copying speakers or not, or making it even better, it's not really for me. For example, the Mifa Wild Rod, and even like the Mifa Wild Box, those speakers perform that out there copy kings or the speakers they look a lot like so let's see if we can get this away so we now have removed the feet so let's see if we can yeah get inside the fabric cover it's supposed to have two tweeters or two tweeters, two drivers. Yeah, you can also have two tweeters, but then the sound is really flat. And some people may have complained that it doesn't sound great. But let's be honest, it's a very cheap speaker. And for example, the ABL Code 3, it still is 35 euros or 30 euros. And this one is around 20, 25. So yeah, it is a little bit cheaper. And I do think if you would have them side to side i don't have a go three anymore because the battery isn't great there's really a problem with that speaker and this one is definitely rated a lot longer i will do some longer tests to see if the battery is really performing better but yeah the go three is just not really my kind of speaker anymore especially with the latest build numbers or yeah units the build quality was very bad so let's see if we can get behind this cover There it is. Yeah, this is not the best way, of course, because you can always damage the speakers. But, oh, that looks very funny. This is really like a very tiny passive radiator. Like, look how small it is. Even smaller than with the Transmart Splash. But it at least has one. I have seen speakers that don't do it anymore, and I do think that passive radiators are still one of the best ways to improve your bass response, but also... Let the speaker sound a little bit bigger. So let's see if we can remove the front. And this is going to be a little bit tricky. There it is. It's pretty easy actually. So the fabric cover, I have to say the quality is not very bad and it looks a little bit like JBL. But they really have done the logo very smart. So it clicks in and you can also get it out probably. But I will try to keep it in one piece. So let's see how the speakers look. Alright, funny, two passive radiators. But really like small ones. And there are two speakers. They are made of pa uh, paper. It is also not really waterproof, so keep in mind of that. You know what, let's set it up again. Let's see how they perform. <laughs> A little bit lost now, but somehow I don't want to be anywhere else with anyone else. And you've been getting on my very last nerve, but love hurts. So I'm gonna say that it's okay with me to just let this be. I know, I know we've been on hold, trying to work this out. Oh, 